So you want to turn old spokes that look like these into spokes that look like these. Stick around for a few minutes and I'll show you how I prep and zinc plate old spokes and make them look new again. So the first thing we've got to do is knock all this old plating and rust and everything off these spokes and clean them up so that they're uh, just bare metal. So the first thing I'm going to do with them is chuck them in this dry blast cabinet here and hit them with a dose of garnet. So we'll do all the nipples first while they're still attached to the spokes. Uh, easier to hang on to that way and then we'll get onto the spokes and do them as well. And that's what the nipple looks like after it's come out of the dry blaster. I'll do the other 35 and then we'll move on to the next step. So there's all the nipples, they've all been uh, garnet blasted. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put these uh, still attached to the spokes in my wet blasting cabinet, my hydro blasting cabinet, and um, we're going to clean them up. So not everyone's got one of these big cabinets at home. So you could probably prep these on a wire wheel on a pedestal grinder and uh, get uh, a good result also. But anyway, we'll chuck these in the uh, wet blasting cabinet and clean the nipples. Uh, like I said, the, um, we're only doing the nipples at this stage because while they're screwed on the spokes, I've got something to hang on to. And that there is how they come out of the wet blasting cabinet. Right, I'll do the rest of these now and then we'll move on to the uh, spokes themselves. And here's some of the nipples here, I haven't finished yet, but what I'll do as I'm going, I'm going to string them on this wire, I'm going to hang them in a 5% uh, hydrochloric acid pickle just to try and clean out the inside of these threads and stuff. Uh, and if there is any grease or oil or anything on them, the acid pickle will take care of that. So we'll string them up and hang them in. There we go, we've got six little nipples on that piece of wire, we'll just hang them in that dip and uh, they should probably fizz a little bit, those ones, because they will have some dirt and stuff, as I said, on the inside. So anyway, we'll leave them there for a little while and uh, go and keep cleaning and hanging some more. Well, I've chucked a few more of those nipples in there. Those ones there have stopped fizzing, so they've been in there for about 10 or 15 minutes. So we'll get that acid off them. We'll give them a rinse in some fresh water. Then we'll whiz them over here and we'll dunk them in some uh, degreaser. I don't know why, the book says. Um, there won't be any grease or anything left on those after being in that acid pickle. But anyway, give them a rinse in there. So we'll hang them in there on that bar. There's only about three or four square inches in that lot. So I reckon I'll set the amps to about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 of an amp on there. And we'll turn them on and give them a go. Yeah, that old chestnut, the plug on the back. There we go. Oh shit, turn that down. There we go. We'll set that for about 0.6 amps and we'll let that go for 15 minutes or so and we'll pull them out and have a look. And those nipples have been in there now for about 20 minutes. Let's whip them out and see how they have come up. Oh, oh look at that. There we go, that's nice. Righto, we'll uh, rinse those off. And dip them in the chromate to harden the, um, to harden the coating. This is the uh, Blue Dip Clear Chromate here. Give them about 10 or 20 seconds in there. Righto, that's been about 20 seconds. We'll uh, rinse that nasty stuff off. And um, we'll take them over there, have a look at them, and we'll put the others in and uh, move on to the spokes. Now, you may think the uh, dry blast, then the wet blast, then... 20 minutes in the acid is a bit of overkill, but when you get results like that first up, worth every minute. Okay, while those other nipples are cooking, I'll uh, 
move on to these spokes same process as before I'll dry blast those then wet blast them and I'll give them 20 minutes or so in the acid I've had problems with spokes in the past where I haven't got all the uh, the existing coating off and they don't coat properly so you've got to got to be very thorough and the extra 20 minutes or so in the acid makes a hell of a difference so there's a look at the spokes all dry blasted what we'll do now is we'll start the wet blasting process like we did on the nipples so we'll start wet blasting we'll get half a dozen or so done then soaking in the acid and then we'll uh, plate them a few at a time So there's six uh, spokes cleaned up in the hydroblaster there. Gives you a bit of a uh, comparison as to the to the finish of the uh, dry blast to wet blast. That's what I go into the um, the plating with. And people say you shouldn't touch this with uh, with uh, oily fingers. Well, I'm going to put those in acid for about in an acid pickle for about 10 minutes. So uh, so I'm pretty sure the uh, acid will remove any uh, oily fingerprints that I've left on them. So we'll whip them over there and chuck them in now and then. Uh, start cleaning up start cleaning up some more and there they are fizzing away in the acid there is a bit of uh, fizz action going on on those so they might not have been as clean as I thought they were but anyway we'll leave them in there for uh, about 10 minutes and we'll check back on them well it's about 10 minutes later and the fizzing settled down on those a fair bit so we'll uh, whip them out of there now and we'll put them over in the plating bath So we've hung them in there in the plate and bath. We've done the math on those and at 0.14 amps per square inch, we've got that set to about 1.2 amps. Right, I will give them about 15 minutes in there and see how they look. And while those ones are cooking over there, put another half dozen or so in the acid pickle, eat, sleep, repeat. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. See how they come up. Well, they're looking good. All right, we'll uh, take them out of there. We'll uh, do the same before. We'll dunk them in the zinc chromate. So they're out of the uh, plating solution. Rinse them off. Three second dip in the acid pickle. Rinse them off. And then about 20 seconds in the blue chromate. Right, oh, that's 20 seconds. Rinse them off. And then we'll take them over there to dry. They're looking sweet. So, six completed spokes there. Beautiful zinc plating on those. Uh, they're prepped, ready to go in. And they're not ready to go in yet. But there's the three stages that I, that I use. Um, I'll come back to these when they're all done and give you a look at the whole lot. But yeah, you'd have to agree, they're looking all right. So that there, guys, is what my friends in the panel booting business would call a off-the-gun finish. They look sensational. Hopefully you can see this uh, at your end. But that's what you can do with a uh, zinc plate and kit in your home workshop. So guys, feel free to leave a comment down below, but before you do, I know there's one or two of you out there that yelling out, hey mum, mum, he's, he's touched the parts with, without gloves on, he's put oil on them. Well, my challenge to you is to mix up a batch of 5% uh, hydrochloric acid and water, put your hand in it for 15 minutes, and pull your hand out after that time and see how much oil's left on your fingers. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, like and subscribe um, if you want to, doesn't cost you anything, and I'll catch you in the next video.